So today we are at Sonido Park, an island which is surrounded by the Han River. I really wanted to come here today to kind of reflect on this whole trip but I don't think I'll be able to do it because it's very very cold. It's probably, I can't speak properly, it's like probably under like 10 degrees so I think I'm just gonna narrate this. I won't be like doing the regular vlogging style because you know my hands are gonna like totally freeze off. Look at that scenery behind me. It's so beautiful here, but it's like freezing like crazy. Today is September 19th. This summer, I managed to save up a lot of money because I wanted to study abroad. And the problem is there's been complications in getting like my passport. Mm. Well, time flies by, so hopefully by the time I'm viewing this video, everything will be great. I mean, things are great now, so always be grateful. <clears throat> my voice is still a bit lost. Here are my honest feelings after being in Korea for about a week and a half now. Today is my technically last day. Oh, it's been, it's been real. Since, you know, this is my first time going abroad with the exception of going to the United States from China when I was five. It's by myself, which was which is quite the adventure i you know never really thought i would ever had the chance to go abroad like it, it was just always a dream something that didn't seem attainable in that moment but i'm here and i've been here for a while and my dreams came true but there's still more to accomplish. There's so many places I want to travel to, so many places I want to see, and I want to see the whole world. And I hope those things will happen sometime in the future because I am going to work hard and make sure that it'll happen. Just coming here, having the ability to, you know, even experience this, uh, I'm just so grateful beyond grateful and it's it doesn't <laughs> my gratitude it's like very hard to express it in words i don't really really know what i'm getting at but like everything added up to this moment and as i'm sitting here on the floor of my tiny room i can't help but think how blessed i am to have this sort of opportunity it's just just so amazing and to some people, this may seem like nothing. To others, this may seem like everything. And to me, this is like everything. If I had to say something to all my viewers out there, if you guys ever or right now you dream of, you know, traveling the world or doing something that scares you, like you want to do it so bad, as long as it's not a like a bad thing, you know, like hurting people, not that sort of stuff, but like traveling the world seeing things i highly encourage it i know like i'm still young and <laughs> i may not be the right person giving this advice but it's an experience a great one to learn from whether it's good or bad there's always something to learn you can learn you can find out more about yourself whether you like doing this sort of stuff or it's not your thing but everything will teach you a lesson and you can't have fear stopping you you know every single time you have to set a limit for yourself you know you can't always drag out stuff if you wanted to go skydiving for example you can't say next year and then you say next season you have to set set that deadline because if you drag out it's never gonna happen stop letting fear stop you because honestly i was very scared of coming here alone <laughs> i'm like a kid but you know what i did it by the time this is gonna be up, I'll probably be out of South Korea already. Yeah, 
I'm always going to remember to be grateful for all these opportunities and many more opportunities that are going to head my way. Yeah, I never expected, you know, things didn't go the way I wanted to, of course. The first day, like, I lost my luggage, I had that 12-hour delay, and like, you know, things, everything just didn't seem right in the moment. And to be honest, yeah, I was really upset and like I was stressed. However, I powered through it. <laughs> My brother told me I was a trooper. That's why I am. I'm a trooper because I have to be. If I let those things get me down, I wouldn't be enjoying myself in Korea like this. I wouldn't have, you know, loved my trip as much as I did. Even though I'm still sick and I got really sick during this trip. The timing was just bad. I think everything that happens is meant to be. And so if I'm sick this time around, the next time I visit South Korea, I won't be. And I'm gonna make that promise to myself. I'm coming back here and I'm going to other places too. I'll keep working hard as long as I want, want something enough that fear becomes simply, you know, just another stepping stone I have to overcome. It's gonna be all good. Life is Life is good and life is gonna be better and I hope you guys think the same. But as always, take my words with a grain of rice.